Today we'll begin a two-week series on the fruit of the Spirit. What is the fruit of the Spirit? Maybe we have heard this reference before, but never really thought about it or what it involves. Maybe we have the verses tucked away in our memories, but have not stopped to think about them for a while. Whatever the case may be, we should remember the words Paul writes in Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such there is no law. What a great group of characteristics that we exhibit if we walk in the Spirit and strive to embody the example Christ set before us. And think about those words at the end, against such there is no law. We know these things are benefits of following God's law, but I think there are no earthly laws against these either. And so walking in the Spirit simply helps us to give off characteristics that are universally accepted and appreciated. We would do well to remember that when we doubt ourselves. Thanks for spending two minutes at the cross with me.